Welcome back to the Carpedia Show, everybody. Remember the other episode about two days ago, I was just talking about Gordon Murray bringing back uh, the McLaren F1 successor and, you know, how things are going to go with the new Aston Martin Valkyrie, you know, the AMG Project 1, um, the McLaren Speedtail. Well, I just saw my news feed, as crazy as it sounds. They were testing it. Um, they were out, you know, just doing their prototype testing, whatever. And the car had an electrical short. Um, actually caught on fire. Luckily, they had a, a fire extinguisher there um, to put the car out. But um, they actually pushed back the uh, the slated deliveries for the vehicle because of this problem they found out. So hopefully, they can work this out, you know, get that going. Um, like I said, more supercars, the better. You know, it's a dying breed. Um, and if you notice, a lot less companies are bringing out supercars, um, sports cars in general. Um, so, like I said, I'm glad they got that sorted out because, you know, everyone always have jokes about Ferraris and Lamborghinis, how they catch on fire and stuff. So, um, like I said, I'm glad that they basically figured out it was electrical short or whatever. So, hopefully, when the new models come out, um, you know, you don't have to worry about that issue. Uh, just like, you know, I don't know if you guys watch, probably do, uh, Salamandra in his uh, YouTube video, you know, his Santa went up in flames. And, you know, those cars are closely related. Um, so they had the same, um, engine. Well, you know, of course, Speedtail, um, has a little bit more power and things like that, but generally the same carbon fiber tub, electric system and all that same engine. So hopefully they can get that figured out. And then also got word today. Um, I know you guys noticed Tesla stock has been down about 47% uh, since the beginning of the year. Um, you know, he's dealing with that terror thing. Um, so he just released with the Model 3. They're starting to sell them used online. Um, so if you're looking to pick one up, I guess he probably caught up to deliveries. And the reason why he's able to do that, I'm looking here on my um, news feed, that uh, a close source to the matter um, that works with Tesla has actually announced that they are on track to deliver between 33,000 and 36,000 vehicles in North America. And they're actually delivering a thousand cars per day, which is a lot considering how small their workforce is. And basically, he's just trying to get as many cars out as possible before that uh, $3,750 tax credit um, is eliminated. Um, so hopefully, you know, he could pull out of this, get these cars delivered out, bring the stock back up because I know a lot of people hate on the company. I'm a huge fan of his. Um, what he's doing for the environment, things like that. Even though he does throw a lot of jabs at gas power cars, things like that. You know, he has to. He has to uplift his company and whatnot. But at the end of the day, what he's doing and the fact that the way he's building these cars is taking note. You know, it's been a while since people in like America really say they have a brand of vehicles they can be proud of. And for the first time in a long time, we can say, hey, we have a car company that other car companies are studying and trying to be like and it's been man about 20 30 years since the americans could really say they had a you know a car brand like that, an aspirational brand you know especially in other countries um so like i said um that's the news so far i've gotten for today uh let me know what you guys think about speed tail catching on fire literally a day after <laughs> uh gordon murray announced his car um and also how you guys feel about them pushing up the delivery um, to almost a thousand per day. Um, like he's trying to push this out because uh, you know the whole tariff thing. So let me know what you guys think below. Comment. Let's talk about it, and uh, let me know how you feel about that. Again, y'all have a good evening. Bye.